so far we have defined what is an infinite series and different ways for checking their convergence now as we have discussed earlier what is the main aim for discussing infinite series in this course now one is the one of the main aim for discussing infinite series was to construct new interesting and important uh, examples of complex valued functions now these new examples not only help us in understanding the current examples the current results current structures of complex valued functions but they also help us in exploring new structures uh, in complex analysis now before going into the details of how we can construct new functions from these infinite series let's have a look what is a function now a function is like a machine where we give input and we get output so uh, let's say if we input some complex number z then the output must be a complex number okay now let's see how we can uh, use uh, infinite series to define a function a, which means how can we define a machine that takes complex numbers as input and gives us complex numbers as outputs okay before going into the de details let's have a look what is an infinite series so an infinite series is a is an expression of the form that you can see on the screen an n is equal to 1 to infinity where the terms of the series are a1 a2 a3 up to so on okay now let's consider this very particular example of an infinite series now in this case we have changed the terms to be cn z minus alpha raised to power n okay now here alpha is a fixed complex number and these c not c1 c2 up to so on these are also complex numbers now in this infinite series expression you can also see the symbol z and the value of z is not mentioned okay so for this infinite series first we fix what is alpha what is c not c1 c2 up to so on but z is not fixed so z we can say that is kind of a variable so when we change the value of the z then the whole expression changes so if we fix one z let's say z is equal to zero it will give us one infinite series when we change the value of z let's say z is equal to one then it gives another infinite series so we can say that this infinite series is kind of a machine okay where the input is the complex number z and the output is another complex number so this expression defines a function okay now let's see in detail the other properties of this function because uh, uh, the series uh, defines a function only when it converges because uh, we cannot say that if for some particular value of z this expression is not converging this infinite series is not converging and it is becoming infinity then we cannot say that that z belongs to the domain of the function okay so what is a power series function that uh, a function has two parts in its definition uh, the rule for deciding uh, the image and the domain of the function now so far we have agreed that this is going to be the rule that will assign z with f of z so that's a kind of function but this is incomplete definition of the function so to complete this definition we are going to need the domain and what is going to be the domain the collection of all points z for which the series converges because if the series does not converge then it will not give us a well defined output okay so we only want to consider those points in the domain of the function for which the series converges for example if we take alpha is equal to 3 and cn to be n factorial now by taking these particular values of alphas and ci's it will give us the following power series similarly we can change the value of alpha and cn in the following way now uh, if you focus on this uh, series where z is the variable now uh, remember have we seen this series before in our discussions of course yes this is basically the geometric series okay and we also know the conditions under which this series converges so basically when we impose that condition on z that will give us the domain of this function okay now uh, there is a little issue with some uh, notation okay now if we expand this infinite series the first term is c not z minus alpha raised to power zero now there is a little problem with this uh, uh, notation 
because when z is equal to alpha this becomes 0 and 0 raised to power 0 is basically undefined so to solve this issue we have a simple notation so the first term always means that this is c naught and not c naught multiplied by z minus alpha raised to power 0 so that's a, a simple convention or notation that is going to help us in avoiding that undefined situation now in this part we have introduced ourselves how we can use an infinite series to define complex valued functions in our further discussions we will try to explore how we can calculate the domain of this function using different tests